when this competition in Stockholm uh, exists, uh, I, we saw this, the opportunity to create new share common space, common ground. Because uh, with the development of the progress in the 20th century, uh, a lot of uh, bonds arrived in the city with uh, the cars and uh, with the highways. And uh, the idea was uh, very rapidly to uh, have an inversion. All these spaces were very negative for the city, very uh, strong pollution. And if you cover the space, uh, like uh, unhabited bridges on the water, this space became a common ground and became uh, really a meeting point and with a, line, with a typology of that, a meeting line. When I worked a long time ago on the competition, uh, theoretical competition after the destruction of the Berlin Wall in 1989, uh, I, I proposed this uh, concept of meeting line, like a, a meeting line at the, exactly at the, at the place of the, of the wall of Berlin. Uh, and uh, I think it is approximately the same concept is possible because you don't destroy something, you build something of, on, on another place and you create this meeting line like unhabited bridges, three lines like this, three meeting lines to link the different neighborhoods of the city because Stockholm is built on an archipelago. Uh, and, uh, of course, the transitions, the bridges, are a real, real question because climate is very rude and uh, if, you, if you create something linked to the climate, linked uh, to uh, a new function for the city, we are really, for me, in the essence of what could be the common ground in the city. Because common ground, very often now, is negative space. Because you don't have money to use it. It's residual space. Uh, here is the opposite. It's a space where you have to go, to, to go through, and it could, it could become a lot of uh, uh, pleasure to be here. It's, an urban, it's urban places in the meaning of urbanity. This space in the center of Stockholm, which is connecting the two main islands, Gamla Stan, the old city, with Sur de Malm, the south part of the city, it's been since the 30s uh, a, a very controversial area. Uh, 100 by 100 square meter concrete block, um, a traffic hub, which has made it impossible for pedestrians to, to, to easily link, cross over from one side to the other, and it has really become a non-space, as Jean described. When we started the project, we did collages, just because you get so used to seeing this. It was great because Jean wasn't used to seeing this. Me, as a Swedish architect, I've, I've sort of grown up with this, and, and I, didn't, um, I wasn't shocked by the scale anymore. We, we pasted this big uh, traffic hub into other historic city centers in Paris and in Venice just to become conscious of the scale and what, what this uh, huge traffic transformations in the 20th century has done to our cities. The other thing we did was we looked at historic plans where uh, initially the link between the two islands was a very thin link, a very thin inhabited bridge, hence this idea of, of continuing. Uh, with this typology. I think also what's, what's very important to stress is, is that our, our belief, our conviction that urbanism today is all about addition, it's all about, as Jean said, how can we transform what is already there, something that is maybe uh, very uh, problematic and negative, into something positive, into equality in the city, without demolishing or starting uh, again on a kind of a tabula rasa concept. So these three links that were created are, we, we build on top of something. 
and on the existing lock we build a kind of a uh, contemporary uh, version of uh, we use the, the name Rialto or Ponte Vecchio it's kind of an inhabited bridge with shops and, and uh, different uh, uh, restaurants, cafes, other activities so these now become living links in the city and something that is not possible for pe people in Stockholm to sit on top of, of the subway bridge, to have a coffee and to look out of the sea on one side and the lake of, of the other side suddenly becomes a possibility in the project. I think it's why we feel that it's very important to show this project is because it raises so many questions about this theme common ground and also because we had the feeling that when the projects were finally judged what counted was um, the number of cars and traffic lanes much more than the urban quality in the city. And, and that was what, I mean, obviously we worked with engineers to solve the infrastructural part as well, but for us what was important was the, the, the connection to, to, to make the city more livable and to add, to see the immense and use the immense potential that is in this area because the landscape is fantastic. And uh, instead of just making a sort of a technical engineering solution to, to maximize the number of cars that can pass in this area every day.